Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gararhara Shri Vasari Shri Gauravata Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare I hope the internet is okay. My internet seems to be very slow. Oh, it's good. Okay, Vrindavan Ashri did it. Many thanks. All right. So, dear devotees, let us begin as devotees come together. This is back to back to basics and we're happily with our family wanting to share some good things between each other for our spiritual journey. Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavans Chai. Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunatam Vitam Tang Sajivam Sarvetam Savarutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam <coughs> Shri Radha Krishna Param Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitam Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshuram Militam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Namo Mahavaranyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Goratvije Namaha Bansha Kalpa Trubiascha Kripa Sindhubiya Evacha Patitana Pavanebhyo Vaishnavevyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vas Adi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare All right on a beautiful morning in Govinda Farm but we are here with Nadia Sundari, we are here with Advitya over here having her breakfast and with Leela Moy Prabhu. And Leela Moy has been to, uh, to Vila Govinda by heart, no doubt. But the, all of the rest of us here, we've all been in Vila Govinda Ashram and we're just also being joined by Priya Sundari who has been in Vila Govinda Ashram too, as Patricia, under a different name. So we've been remembering Vila Govinda quite a bit with so many Vila Govinda uh, Basis. Basi, you know, Dham Basi, somebody who lives in the Dham. So Vila Govinda Basi, those who live in Vila Govinda. And one week today, then, all being well, we expect to be in Vila Govinda to greet you. And in the meantime, here we are at Vila Govinda Farm, of Govinda Farm, with the devotees. So, they're all ready to say something to you. I've been speaking all morning, so they can now say a few words back to back the basics and priya sundari devi rasi today she's going on to korea because she's a she's from brazil and as you know brazilians know but she's a very active lady she's meeting up with her better half i think he will say she's her she's his better half but the two halves are meeting up and uh, going on to korea dial nitai prabhu very capable person also. But today, Priya Sundari Diri is leaving a little later today from here, so maybe she'd like to say a few words to you first. But please come close to the microphone. And others, are we're happy to say, queuing up. We like a queue when it's a queue, to, a queue to share something, so to share something with you all here. Speak loudly. Okay. <laughs> Um, I have been so fortunate to be um, here in the Villa, Villa Govina farm during the festival and then came back and now in the association of Mansuna Maharaj and other devotees, it has been very wonderful to start my 
my spiritual journey in this way and especially um I, I think my my life has changed so much and I want to share that being here I've learned where to take shelter and there is the in the holy name and the ten offenses to be avoided book there is this uh, phrase that says uh, the holy name is the only I, I don't have my quote right now but it says that the holy name is the only the only the, the only option the only place to take shelter and being here, I have taken shelter in the Holy Name <laughs> tribe. And also um, what has helped me a lot and really changed everything for me uh, was also the association with other Vaishnavas, with Vaishnavas. <laughs> and it's really like the routine of getting up every day, uh, 4, 4.30, 4 and then starting to sing the Japa before sunrise, uh, doing the morning program, everything is like um, uh, uh, we 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 also I also learned uh, it's like uh, the the seed of devotion being nurtured with the holy name and with these associations. It's like uh, a tree growing, and then you put a, a small fence around it just so we can grow to the top and not you know start going everywhere and. Uh, it can really nurture and I have been really it's I'm not crying right now but I have cried so many so many times uh, it get it, I feel like my my other mundane or um, or the worldly uh, issues or uh, things that I have to do they all lost a little bit the uh, shine on them so they are not now the most important thing I have, which is quite a, a big change in life, right? You look, you change priorities, you change, it's like my values are new and renewed. And yeah, I, I, have, I feel just so lucky and I feel like I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to uh, uh, leave the, now, but of course we have to go on and I will be joining uh, every Zoom call I can and continue associating with devotees. Um, and I really wish you all uh, that you have the luck that I that I had in being associated here. Uh, it's really impactful and, and it has helped me a lot uh, to, shape, to shape how, at least how I want my life to be. Maybe, I don't know how long I can sustain it, but <laughs> forever, 24, 25 hours a day chanting, chanting uh, Hare Krishna. Uh, it's the goal. Let's see what I can do with, with it. And uh, I think this is it. A few minutes of sharing. Any question for Priya Sundari from any of you? Any of you good souls you've been drawing by more and more here? Oh, I have a question for you. <laughs> I think anybody can answer. Do you have a diary where you write down the spiritual, your spiritual journey or like the, the best quotes or the mantras you want to learn or the Sanskrit you are, your progress? Do you have it written down? Seva Rupa does. Vrindavaneshri does. Jai Goranga does. Madhusudan does but it's not so organized <laughs> <laughs> and from Naratam Nittai Prabhu he's with us too the big N is Naratam Nittai Prabhu he does very good nice okay that's inspiring thank you <laughs> but you're all so quiet are they able to unmute themselves no no Okay, you're all very quiet, but very nicely presented by Priya Sundari Didi. And really, and this also we said just maybe yesterday morning, it's not that just when we come together to be with devotees that we try to make our sadhana, our daily routine, in the way that we do when we're here with the devotees. But this is really to try to establish wherever we are, whether we're with nobody or with many bodies, wherever we are, to get into a good routine. After all, 
Everybody has a routine for their health, their body, you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner, taking a shower or everything else. But we're getting into a good routine for our spiritual body. And that spiritual body is likened to that creeper that we were hearing just now. We sow the seed, we plant, we plant the seed, we then water it, nourish it, take away the, the weeds that grow around the, the seed which grow at the same time. We have to, as a good gardener, remove those weeds. And then, as we were just hearing, we need to put a fence around it, protect the plant as it grows and grows, and especially to protect from Vaishnava Aparad. And so this is why we always stress, don't hear any offense to Vaishnavas. Don't say any offense to Vaishnavas. Don't take sides if there's any argument with Vaishnavas. We just see everyone is a Vaishnava and they may all have their own different pastimes with each other, but it's not our matter. Things like that. We'll give honor to everyone. We'll be very careful to put a complete fence around the tree, if the, around the creeper as it grows. Not just on some side, but we leave one side open. Everybody knows if you leave one side open, the sheep will get in, the goats will get in, they'll come and eat everything. So we need to make it a complete circle. So try to, we need to try to do our best not to let any any uh, apparat, Vaishnava apparat especially, enter. Not even to think it. We just keep our respect from a distance if there's something which we don't find so comfortable to be near, but we'll keep our respect, but from a distance. Jai. And who, who's next in the queue? They're all queue. So please, you all give some good wishes to Priya Sundari. Hi. She's going from the, the direct association of many here. She's going to the working world in Korea. And... Uh, she mm -hmm. going to keep her head above water with new priorities. And essentially, wherever we go, whoever we meet, we should try to say something about Krishna or at least give some something valuable to them. Because after all, Krishna is letting us meet them. So in any circumstance, we meet people, we can give them something if we think that they're good-hearted people. Jai. Jai. I can feel their good wishes flowing in. <laughs> Even they're all so quiet. But Seva Rupa did he doesn't want to be quiet. She got her notebook. We saw your notebook just now. Yes. And just in Naratam Nittai Prabhu also putting some chats in the box. Association is key. Best to distribute books if not in a position to preach. Yes, the books are saying the words directly from our masters and the big stress of Srila Prabhupada, of course. And uh, I was reading, not exactly sure where, but only from our proper sources of books very recently, how that when Srila Sarasati Tako had money, his stress was not on building temples, but on printing books. And we saw that in Srila Prabhupada's um, uh, life, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada's life. He laid stress on the books and the temples were the place where people will come to get association. But he laid the stress, the stress on the books. Oh, that was Guru Man. Oh, wow. Sorry, that was Srila Guru Maharaj wanting to join in, coming on by accident from the phone. Okay, dear devotees, Seva Rupa Didi, what are you going to say? Can you unmute yourself? Is it possible? Stand back and announce. Hare Krishna. Please accept my obeisances. So, um, I was trying to see what stood out for me, but nevertheless, I think with um, Priya Sindri's beautiful sharing and your amazing association that you never wanted to end, and maybe just from where we, or from where I am, back in the working mundane world, 
Um, and just also reading like um, Narutam Das um, Prabhu was saying, it's also separation has its sweetness as well, because you're always longing for the association of the devotees and your Gurudev and, um, you know, that's your, becomes your aspiration and your goal whenever you wake up and you remember us all meditating together, chanting together, um, the morning programs and in your birth, you try and just enact that in your daily life. And that's your connection. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And it, yes, and meeting up in the Zooms. Yeah, it's like we will always be together, even by heart. And this morning, yeah. we're reminded of Srila Guru Maharaj's Samadhi in Navadi. The title is the Sri Viraha Milan Mandir. Viraha means separation. And Milan means uh, association, means together, together. And so it's the temple, and Mandir is temple. So it's the temple of union in separation. And Leela Moni Prabhu, here, sitting to the side, he pointed out, oh, Milan. Milan means union, connection, being together. And Vila Govinda in Italy is it Milan in Milan or just beside Milan. So it was an interesting spiritual connection. And okay, Milan, the place of being together with the devotees. We haven't given this revelation of Lila Moy yet to the Vila Govinda residents. <laughs> Hare Krishna. But it was a very beautiful thought. Hi. Can I just say Dandabad Sivananda Sundari? It was great meeting you. Hope you are good. Hope you are good. Hey, Dandabad Sivananda. And is she here still? She's Andrea. Oh, she's here on the left. Yes, 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 yes. Dandavat Priya Sundari. It was so good to meet you. Dandavat devotees, Maharaj. Dandavad. It was such a it was such a pleasure to meet you. You are such a sweet person. And it was only more of a pleasure to take initiation with you. I'm wishing you everything of the best. You are twins. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. So here in the room, I think... Okay, Nadia Sundari Devi Rasi, she's being very loyal to Vila Govinda Ashram. She's wearing the T-shirt for the 20th anniversary of the ashram, the Chamatkara T-shirt made by Madhurananda Prabhu. And so now the whole world knows what is wonderful in uh, Italian. It's super picente. But Keshavananda Prabhu will be able to pronounce it better than myself. <laughs> Dandavats, all devotees, happy to see you. Uh, yeah, I'm always on each Zoom, so maybe devotees think I'm <clears throat> just wearing only this t shirt. It's almost like that because I traveled with a small bag. And um, yeah, I'm constantly, the more I'm not in Villa Govinda, the more I, I'm thinking about devotees there. So Jai Gauranga Das, you are, uh, think you are very happy to be there. Uh, yeah, but also uh, when I was there, I was dreaming to come here. First of all, to see Goswami Maharaj, because I saw him uh, live only once before in my life it was 2018 and it was a festival of my initiation so when i was like very fresh not knowing anything and not knowing who i see and what is going around so the swami maharaj and bhakti lalita was like my aim to come here and to meet and like Madhusudan Maharaj and Bhakti Lalita, they're 
two of my favorite personalities in this world and they like when I'm lost and I'm on the bottom of the darkest places like I can just uh, put uh, Bactylolitas some bajans and it brings me up she yeah she she don't know about this but I definitely will say it to her personally and like uh to to connect what I'm sharing to something what is in the scriptures <clears throat> I found one uh, print screen of text 44 but I am not sure which which part of Chaitanya Charitamrita is that but it said the uh, O King, a saintly person is just like water because he is free from all contamination. Gentle by nature and by speaking creates a beautiful vibration like that of flowing water. Just by seeing, touching or hearing such a saintly person, the living entity is purified just as one is cleansed by contact with the pure water. Thus, a saintly person, just like a holy place, purifies all those who contact him because he always chants the glories of the Lord. Lord. <clears throat> so, this is why I wanted to see Goswami Maharaj <clears throat> and almost managed because I see him very slightly. And uh, yeah, we are so lucky to to meet uh, such great sadhus. So we need to remember this each day. And Sevarupa Devadasi also always in my heart and my and my mind. And from the last back to Bhakta Basic School, uh, your quote from Srimad Bhagavatam, I'm meditating on it and I, uh, I'm preparing for today Ukrainian Zoom. I will uh, try to put this topic up about clean mind, clean actions, and Dandavato. Jai, Govinda, Govinda, Gopanla, Gopanla. <clears throat> Chamatkar, and Jeevana Diri is joined, and Gangalila Diri, she is giving a happy hand, ha happy hands of obeisances. It seems to be. And Jeevana Diri, you joined us in Indulekha in the evening. Evening in Florida. Indulekha is with us. And Lynn also joined us. And Rupa Nogapu is in the complete black screen somewhere on planet Earth. And for Brindavaneshri, it's very late, I know. Hare Krishna. Maharaj, Rupa Nogaprabhu is in South Africa. Oh my goodness! Well, Dandavats. Dandavats. Yes, and, and I'm in the dark. There's a power strike just here, <laughs> but I am lit up. I'm lighted up by seeing you all, and being in association by Zoom. At least that is working. <laughs> well, on Monday there's a power out from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the temple here in Chiang Mai. So. We're getting some flavor of India, even in South Africa, in Thailand, in different places. So helping us to remember the grace of the Lord also in many forms. And Rupa Nuga Prabhu, what a surprise. And have you had a chance to come to the temple, meet the devotees? No, unfortunately, I didn't have a car to get there, but I I'm aiming to next Sunday to associate. Not this Sunday. I'm I'm going up to Victoria Falls. I've got a car now, but I can't come back because it's so many hours of traveling. But I will in two weeks' time. I look forward to it. I'm dedicated and committed to doing that, to be in association. Are you, are you going to go on a safari while you're in Africa? Yes, I'm going there today into the wilds. <laughs> oh, well... I'd love to be able to take you. <laughs> However, <laughs> now different kind of destination and a different kind of journey. But we do have yeah. fond memories of those days, of course. 
Yes. And that was one of the things for me when I'm first reading Srila Prabhupada's books, when he's saying this world is a place of suffering. But we were doing safaris and with good people of the world, you can say materially, you know, good people, good hearted people and in good places. And it was a little difficult for me at first to digest this, that, oh, the world is a place of suffering. But Krishna, here, after reading a few chapters, Krishna started uh, giving me some demonstrations how the material world is full of suffering. And as Srila Prabhupada mentioned there in the book I was reading, he said that, and what we consider as happiness in the material world is essentially relief from suffering as opposed to the positive side. And so Krishna did give me a little experience of some suffering and then, ah, oh, the relief from the suffering. But that was just like to remind us that where our masters are taking us, where Mahaprabhu is taking us, it's the land of positive joy and not just, you know, less suffering or relief of suffering here. Anyway, Rupa Nuguru, have a wonderful safari and I'll think of you. You can send a picture or two if you like. I'll be happy to see what kind of uh, safari is available where you are. And I'm sorry I can't lead you on, a, on, on our safari. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Check the chat. Check the chat. I've got something. I don't know if it's Chinese or English, but it's check the chat. Check the chat. <laughs> Check the chat. Ananda Sundari, Dandabhaji. Okay, Priya Sundari. And Seva Rupa. Yes, that was a message to Priya Sundari. I think she addressed that. And Seva Rupa Dari, quote. Um, this is what I was. Yeah. Oh, she's put the quote of what um, our Nadia Sundari Dari was reading. Thank you, Didi. Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th canto. Ashrimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam, yeah. And then Naratam Nitai Prabhu. One more advice, if I may. Appreciating good qualities of others helps better our good qualities. Helps better our good qualities. Getting association of devotees daily is very important. Nectar of instruction means Upadashamitam. Verse 3. Speaking confidentially with devotees. It's maybe verse 4, but it's okay. Speaking confidentially with devotees you trust. Keeping Tulasi at home helps chanting in the morning. Sadhana focus to build a foundation. Indian grocery stores are good for us. <laughs> if you don't look at the liquor shelf, why the Indian stores are so famous for the liquor in in Europe is like that. Or you go to the Indian store to get liquor. Anyhow, I like to distribute small books to see who is good to have association with outside of work. Read our books daily. Listening to Kirtan Bhira. Naratam Nitai Prabhu, you've given a very nice list of favorable things for our devotional service. And yes, verse 3 of Nectar of Instruction is the six favorable items. And then verse four uh, is the six ways of loving interaction between devotees. Giving gifts, accepting gifts, and revealing one's mind in confidence and, and then inquiring confidentially. Then accepting prasad and giving prasad. Hare Krishna. Jayadev. Oh, Jayadev who is with us. How come devotees are here secretly with us? <laughs> I don't even see. Where's Jayadev? They're joining one by one. Okay. Jayadev was I would only go on safari if the <laughs> Manasura <laughs> was leaving. Well, our safari now is the best safari, I promise you. The journey to Goloka Vrindavan. And really... I mean, we have some fond memories of our days of adventure, but literally that was the mundane side of life. Seeing beauty, though we saw beauty in all kinds of environments, but 
I suppose it is Krishna's arrangement for me to get out of my system, you know, the desire to see lots of things. Because I have to admit, as a teenager, my mind was looking at the, the atlas, looking at the map, and would go to different places, sort of by mind. And then when we were able to go physically, it was quite, quite uh, educational. And the thing is, later, after I came to the mission, came to Mahaprabhu's mission, I had actually seen some publications of Back to Godhead, etc. I'd seen actually before, but somehow Krishna didn't let me open the pages or re really read what was inside. And so, you know, there seems to be for everybody a time to come when you kind of, it's the right time to come and give appreciation to that message which is there. So we can't complain about any environment, but for myself, I felt that when I came to the temple, it's not that I had a whole list of things I wanted to do, because we'd seen pretty much the world in one sense. And Seva Jai, we're on a spiritual, oh, here we are, Seva Rupa <laughs> saying we're on a spiritual safari, <laughs> Jai Gauranga, definitely. And Chintamani giving dandavas to all the devotees. So Chintamani, did he good to know you're with us? And Jayadev Prabhu also, good to know you're with us. Oh, there's Jayadev Prabhu, yes. Hare Krishna, Govinda Govinda, looking healthy, looking good. Jai. And oh, by the way, everybody on Facebook, my appreciation, I don't have Facebook on because we're on a limited in internet right now, but we have some idea who may be there and our appreciation and obeisances to you all, as well as who's seeing this recorded. We are here uh, to share what we can, something in the line of Srila Prabhupada, but Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada <coughs> and Srila Gurudev, which means the line of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Tapo in a very uh, developed way. So introduction and then the actual dealings of how to uh, how to attend to so many circumstances that we saw practically with the life and decisions and guidance of Srila Guru Maharaj and especially of Srila Govinda Maharaj for so many years and how he dealt with all kinds of situations and the way for us, the way for us to see from the spiritual point of view the circumstances of the world. And Narutam Nittai Prabhu's uh, suggestion, that list of things, of uh, the good association and the different items, keeping Tulsi at home, sadhana. And sadhana, it is right there. Guru Maharaj tells about the necessity of sadhana. And we are basically you know, fooling ourselves if we think we don't need sadhana. And we do need it. So we need to make an effort to try to keep a spiritual routine going in our lives. And if we think we're beyond it, that's a little dangerous. And not only we say it, but we've seen it so much as well. So we must be careful to cultivate nicely our devotional life. Okay, I still have a cue behind me because I know you're all so quiet on Zoom. We gave you a chance to ask a question. But Priya Sundari, uh, no, Priya Sundari already expressed a few words. Priya Nana, David Asi is here. And she's come all the way from Gupta Govardhan Temple. 36 kilometers or something. 45 kilometers, I'm not sure how far. But she's come here and she is a regular on the Zoom part. But now she's here live on Zoom in person with us here. What's Speak a little loud. The microphone is there. Then the words. <laughs> hey, better. I'm very happy to see you all. And yes, we were talking just this morning about uh, how um, we were talking about how we can, we are actually meant for Krishna, but we should satisfy Krishna through his devotees. And it's easier to do because actually devotees are more accessible to us. And you can see whether they're satisfied or not. 
but when you try to serve Krishna directly, you can imagine different kind of things. So mm, that's one thing, and another one that was very interesting, I and mean, for my inner, so to say, consciousness. It's about the humility again, how in this world we are, so to say, hardwired to act in a little bit competitive and aggressive way. It's like our normal position or in inclination. But as Srila Gurudev said, except for being humble and tolerant, nothing else works. So I thought it might be interesting thoughts to imply this in our life <laughs> just to try and see how it goes like for real because i remember once i asked madhusun maharaj like maharaj i live in a temple but how to be tolerant how to be humble and the reply that struck me right in the heart was have you ever tried <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was fine but that was straight to the point so yeah mm, that's the two points i wanted just to mention that we discussed this morning and yes as Shle Hadidi said um, quoting guru maharaj um, what's that being your like your humble, humbleness your humility or will not be the reason that you're not progressing in other words, if you're humble and tolerant and you think like no one notices you, but Krishna knows everyone. So it won't be the reason that you don't do any progress if you are like humble. It's vice versa. So that's what I want to say. Govinda, Govinda. I thought Priyananda was going to say, and I replied to her, well, the temple is the best place to practice humility <laughs> and tolerance. <laughs> but it is not so. The outside world is the difficult place to tolerate non-Krishna kata, to tolerate all those like superficial things that you know sometimes you have to be around when you're in the mundane world. That is much more difficult than tolerating you know the nature of a vi of a devotee a vaishnava because vaishnavas they've got that special quality so we can easily overlook all sorts of other things so anyway i'm pleased i didn't answer that to her that the temple is the best place <laughs> to practice to <laughs> Hare krishna but it's a fact we must try and gurudev sincerely told that I mean, this is really in his last months manifest with us in our direct, you know, physical, as they say, presence. Then he expressed like very clearly, now I've had my long life and I can say that my, my experience is the only way to overcome every obstacle, whether it is spiritual or also this material world, is with humility with tolerance and with giving honor to others. And Gurudev had many challenges in the world for you know, buying land, developing the land, you know, all kinds of things. And we see how difficult it is, especially in Bengal, to do many things. Because as Gurudev said, there is no law in Bengal. Maybe technically, but so many things there. You know, it's the, the law of the land or whatever you want to say. But Gurudev, with humility and tolerance and giving honor, he navigated all those things. But Gurudev said, openly, he said, I've tried other things, but I see finally we have to be humble, tolerant, and give honor to others, even for the material obstacles that come to face us. And speaking from his heart. So we should try. After all, we don't have to spend our life, you know, trying to be aggressive against, okay, we will attack in this way if they do this. If we do like that, we can, we may spend our whole life or many lifetimes, but we've already heard from where we know is getting the best advice. We've heard from Gurudev and him, him even saying, as his pastime, his leela, my life experiences, I tried so many things, but finally, this is the necessity.
Okay, so uh, we've got here Advitya Devidasi, and she's also queuing up to speak with you, to share something. So I'm happy to have a queue of devotees. And Advitya is a smart young lady, and we have much hopes for her for the future. She is a smart young lady, so please, you also give your good wishes to her. And she's born into a devotee family, and she has a, a good head on her shoulders. So we have a lot of hope for her. She's here in uh, Govinda Farm, as you can see, but she's going to speak a little loud because the microphone. Okay. Thank you. Then that's everyone. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I strongly agree with everything Priya Sundri said. It's exactly what I feel um, has transpired within me. Uh, the, the weeks that have passed, it has been intense, especially coming from the environment I was in before. Um, but I have really realized uh, also the importance of association um, and the way it really like illuminated many things within and I've never felt so eager to learn more and like my life force really increasing <laughs> so I could even get emotional <laughs> <laughs> it's so much <laughs> so she not only could get emotional but in the meantime <laughs> You could perhaps, would you like to read something the Seva Rupa could say? Or should I read it? <laughs> okay, I'll read it. <laughs> By the way, she did also have the association of Sri Laker, who was here for some time. <laughs> and you do get the qualities of those you associate with. So this is one of those qualities, and we are all happy to see. All right, Seva Rupa, she's put a uh, quote from the Chaitanya Charitamrita. If one cherishes pure loving devotion to me, so this must be uh, Krishna or Mahaprabhu, I'm not sure, but the me is a capital M. If one cherishes pure loving devotion to me, thinking of me as his son, his friend or his beloved, Regarding himself as great and considering me his equal or inferior, I become subordinate to him. My child. Ah, perhaps this is in reply to the question above from Narutam Nittain. Anyway, just before we go there, I just want to give appreciation uh, to Advitya David Asi. She's very brave to stand in front of all you people <laughs> i sit in front of you all but actually everything is about heart and so anyway please you all give your grace to her and everybody here giving grace to her too and just we don't just want to let her drift to the side give our appreciation she said Hare krishna and she's got a she's got a good embrace from Priya, from Priya Sundari to give some comfort. So. She's really been a real, like a good association. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. All right. So and everyone, everyone, actually, everyone, thank you. <laughs> Govinda, Govinda. <laughs> and you all know her either directly from being here or as we are on Zoom. But on Zoom, we know each other. We have that experience where we only know each other on Zoom. We meet, but it's, we already fully know we're not talking with strangers. So this opportunity. And Narottam Nittai Prabhu has put in a question. Is it okay to think of Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as a little child? Just like some devotees like to think of Krishna in the Dhamma Dhanliva. Do some devotees think of Mahaprabhu in this way? Is it part of Vatsalya Rasa? In other time it's appropriate. Oh, okay, I understand. Uh, so Prabhu, um, first of all, Chaitanya, the name Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is referring to um, Goranga when he's taken sannyas. So we can't actually, actually say Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
as a child. Uh, he was given the name Nimai uh, Sunda or Nimai by uh, um, Sita Devi, Advaita Acharya's uh, consort, wife. And so Sita Devi gave the name Nimai, Nimai Sunda to the very young baby boy. He was born under a neem tree and also that name is considered to protect against ghosts because ghosts and spirits say, don't come to the neem tree. The neem tree is regarded as holy and the, the leaves are very bitter. And we even have one preparation called neem shukta, which is made with the neem, fried neem leaves and uh, is usually taken first when you're taking a Bengali style meal because that bitter wakes up the tongue for the, so the uh, digestive juices. Um, but yeah, so it would be Nimai or Nimai Sunda. Um, the point about thinking of a specific Leela is at the moment, uh, then we need to know Krishna's Leela as a whole, Mahaprabhu's Leela as a whole. And we are not at the stage of continuous anything, we are at the stage of trying to be practitioners so we can become nishta, we can become genuinely without any mundane uh, thoughts or consideration, but only the spiritual consideration. And in the cleanest stage, which is, sorry to say, I mean, excuse me if any of you are 100% pure, but I think if we're all honest, we're going to put up our hand and say, we're not in the pure stage. So we are not also uh, being, re it's not being revealed to us our location in the upper world. Rather, we've got the whole universe to cross before we can get a glimpse inside there. So uh, it is wonderful to read and relish the pastimes and hear the pastimes of Nimai Sunda, the, his appearance, and in fact, my favorite song in the songbook, because sometimes we ask devotees, okay, what's your favorite song in the songbook? Let's sing that song. My favorite song in the songbook is actually the excerpt from Chaitanya Charitamrita, which is a little bit long, of Mahaprabhu or Gauranga Sundar's appearance, because it's so wonderful, his appearance in the world, and what his appearance stands for, which is he has appeared, with the greatest gift of Goloka Vrindavan to distribute to the most fallen souls. So there we have a point. We can raise our hand again if we have some claim to be, well, most fallen, but we know Srila Prabhupada said of one devotee, you are not the most anything. What to speak of most fallen? So this way, you know, we have some claim, at least in the fallen souls department. But um, we, yes, we need to go through, we need to relish everything about Nimai, Nimai Sunda, then Nimai Pandit, when as a teenager, he becomes extremely Pandit, extremely learned. And then presently as Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So all aspects we will take uh, of the Lord's pastimes in the context of Mahaprabhu and all aspects we will take of the Lord's pastimes in the, in the context of Krishna also. And we will deal with all of their pastimes, both of Mahaprabhu who is Radha and Krishna combined um, all the way through and the Krishna Leela all the way through both Leelas from beginning to end we will take to heart and I'm just I'm happy to see Jeevana yes Jeevana Didi I was looking for you just now because I know you're in the queue to share something and today is a happy day for me because there is a queue for devotees to share things. And it reminds me that the only temple I know of in the world where there is a queue for brahmacharis to join the temple is the Iskon temple in Juhu Beach in Mumbai, Bombay. And apparently there, 
there's a list of like it's applying like, like applying for a university you know place where you have to apply you have to be on the list etc and to join as a brahmachari so anyway today i'm happy that we have a list of those who wish to say something and share something and so jeevan and Didi, please we are looking forward to your contribution today Oh, Dandavats to everybody and a special guest that you have there today. So wonderful to see everybody and all of our Zoom compatriots. It's really nice to have everybody. Um, well, I, I, was, I actually accidentally got, got thrown off Zoom altogether. And uh, so I just came back and I don't, I, I know I just joined a little bit late. So, um, well, we were listening, we were seeing, but it's a little bit long, so I'll have to try to skip through it, but there was a really amazing video of Srila Guru, Guru Maharaj, and it was from March of 1982. It's called Heart Within and God Overhead. It's one of Guru Maharaj's <clears throat> famous slokas. And he's talking there about, uh, I'll just read a little bit and see how far we get. And I kind of wanted to skip through because the last part also is really nice. I mean, the whole thing is wonderful. Um, so he starts off by saying it's, um, I am put into test and that is not meaningless. It is meaningful. It is where you are living. It is not an inanimate environment, but animate and fully conscious. So he's talking about our environment and how our environment is always friendly and favorable to us, which is just can't hear these things enough for them to just hopefully someday really sink in but he's talking about the environment is not only conscious but sympathetic so it is the burden on our shoulder that for my best benefit i shall have to adjust with the present circumstances thinking it as divine arrangement so we must collect sufficient courage and goodwill from the environment that is the highest key to the successful life of the highest order. So that's that's just such an amazing thing to think that we can collect courage and goodwill from our environment. So whatever comes, all for the best, and I must learn how to deal with such circumstance. We should learn to consider the environment as a whole, as a whole, not as a part. And there must be some, the supremacy of the Supreme Lord with all of his paraphernalia, the help necessary for me will come. So, and he says, which seems to be non-sympathetic apparently, but in the case of every devotee, when they are put to trial, their case was dealt in such a way, such a way optimistic. Optimism is our goal and we must try to bring, to draw within our own self the optimistic attitude to meet the optimistic outside. Then we can attain complete liberation from the hands of miscalculation. Maya means miscalculation. It says, from my part, no pessimism should be encouraged. And then he quotes his verse that he always quoted a lot in the Tain Nu Kampam Su Shamik Samano. Whatever undesirability we find within me, that is due to my previous maladjusted activity. And this is the best policy by which we can finish the undesirability within us by non-encouragement, um, by which cannot make me, cannot help me in the adjustment with the circumstance. That element must not be encouraged in me. So there's a little bit more and then I'm going to kind of skip through, but you can kind of get the idea how he's trying to help us be not fearful of the environment, but to realize the environment is here to help us and it is specifically designed for us by Krishna, not only that we tolerate it, but, but that it is there to help us and give us encouragement. So then he says, um, your sacrifice won't be wasted. The final dispenser, he is my friend. The final decision is in his hand. He is my friend. So I shouldn't be afraid of anything. Go with the sense of my duty, duty consciousness. Concentrate ourselves in duty consciousness. Concentrate your whole energy to understand and to perform your duty. 
That is expected in you and that will be your best key to success of life. And it is universal, not only for you, for everyone it is so. Concentrate your whole, concentrate wholly only what is your, to understand what is your duty and what it is necessary to do your duty. Keep that within that limit. You keep yourself and do it to your best capacity and understanding. Your best capacity and understanding. That is what is required of you. And the rest on me, the Lord says. The rest is with me and I am friendly to all. I am not a traitor to anybody. So you may have reliance on me and go on with your duty consciousness. This is a great advice. Hope to the hopeless and courage to the afraid. This is the very nectar of life. Very soon, you will find that you are not surrounded by your enemies. You are liberated. Nitai gor haribo, nitai gor haribo. Act, act in the living present with heart within and God overhead. So I thought that was really super substantial about focus on your duty because there's so many things you can't, we can't figure things out. The environment's bringing this and that. But if we can remember our duty, we have certain duties, certain specific ones, of course, chanting our rounds, hearing, associating. These are all our duties. And if we can hang on to those, that will, that will pull us through everything. And then I really like, I have to say, uh, one last thing from Madhusu Maharaj's class. I think I was hearing go back to back to basics. And he said, we are doing our duty of being fallen souls. <laughs> I wasn't, I, it's not my quote. <laughs> I was only repeating it. <laughs> oh, I love that. I was like, yes, doing that duty. And now, and that all that quote is like, okay, I'm doing my duty as a fallen soul. Now, dear Lord, you do your duty as the rest <laughs> of a fallen soul. Uh huh. That's a quote. Um, okay. I'd have to do a little homework to find it. It's from, I, I'm almost certain it's from Srila Gurudev, but it could be from Srila Guru Maharaj because mm -hmm. they definitely overlap. Um, but yes. And that transcript, that uh, talk that you're um, uh -huh. sharing with us, how valuable. And you know, here's me thinking, oh, I should ask Jeevan if we should get the link for this talk. Uh, but you know, all the time, then we're hearing special talks always. And this week also, I was sent by a well-wishing devotee, like a special talk. And we just relish everyone, but they're all special. That's the, the magnificent thing. And when we get them from the heart of a devotee, like the specialities, they're all pointed out and focused. So actually, Jeevan, I'd be very happy. I, we'd probably be all very happy. If you do have a link, you could just pop it in the in the chat box. Yeah, you know, I had one at one point, and actually, believe it or not, I wrote all this down because. No, I believe you know, it. You know how Facebook is, and how it's sometimes you just you think you have it, and you can never find it back ever again. But I did write down which one it was, so it's it's probably in Chinmoy Dave's archives of transcribed. And the, and the date, do you have written? Yes, yes, March 3rd, 1982. And it okay. has a title, yeah, it has a title of Heart Within and God Overhead. All right, perfect. So we're noting that here. Okay, good, good, good. But I also, I do have a queue of things I'm listening to and reading. <laughs> so, and then we put on... We put onto the phone and then put it on a loop so it's on the phone and it's on a loop. Oh, you yes. find that you have got a Oh. The hand is giving food to the stomach. Hand is also be, being benefited. Everyone. The teeth is giving the food for the stomach. Anyway, that's just. Like an example, how we have it immediately. Oh, we're listening. And here, Guru Maharaj is saying, you know, about how we are a, a contributor. We need to put all our energy to the center. And he said that hand, he's putting, you know, he's doing some duty and it's for the stomach, but he's getting benefited, uh -huh. you know, and in this way, so many things. 
And all of the talks are original, even if we've heard them before. And they're all mm. original, they're all wonderful. And that, that you've quoted again, I mean, we just look forward to hearing again this. Thank you, Jeevana. Oh, we're not allowed oh. to say thank you, are we? Oh, not allowed. Our appreciation. Too much. Too much appreciation. Oh. It's oh, just so beautiful. So special. Because you are all such appreciated, appreciative people, and it just makes the whole thing come alive. Hare Krishna. Well, we are in the yes, we are in the company of appreciative people. This is true, Jivana, and it is very true. What what is appreciated by the devotees, we're always keen to hear that. So Govinda Farm. March third. This is the thing. Oh, okay. So Leela Moy Prabhu is hiding behind the Govinda farm flower. Oh, I was and wondering he, where he was. Yeah, he's behind that Govinda farm flower. And, <laughs> and he's actually uh, looking after the technical side. And Praneshri, did she explain to me her circumstance? So she doesn't have internet. For these days, at least in the evening, she only has it at work. And so uh, for just this time, mm. and, you know, and so now it's evening in Florida. And uh, uh, so she doesn't have internet in the oh. evening. Leela Moy Prabhu is taking, looking after the technical side. Anyhow, this last entrance in the chat box, I'm also going to copy it. And that is the talk, it seems, that Jeevanadiri is quoting from. And so, you know, it'd be wonderful if we all heard that one talk before next mm -hmm. week. Then we can all hear it again just before our next Zoom. Then we can be fresh on that talk and we can give our own, like highlight which part jumped out at us. Mm -hmm. It's nice if we all hear the same talk. Yes. So a little, a little not challenge, but a little request that in these next few days we can find this and listen to it and put it on our phones and we can put it on a loop and hear it again and again and become familiar. And Narayani Nadia joined us, Ishwarananda Prabhu joined us. Welcome, welcome. And I think we greeted everybody else. If we didn't, then... Please excuse, we didn't mention you personally, but we appreciate the company of you all. And I don't know about where you live, but where we are here, the clock goes very fast and it's time for us to be in the Viraha part of Viraha Milan, the separation and union. So Guru Maharaj's temple reminding us of union in separation, the Mahaprabhu is pointed out as actually the highest ideal that in that intensity of separation, then there's so much feeling of connection, constant remembrance. So these are all high things, but Mahaprabhu came to give the highest to the lowest. So here we are doing our duty, as Jeevan had just reminded us, <laughs> of being the, low, the fallen soul section. And we have good reason to be optimistic as Jeevan also pointed out Guru Maharaj saying that we have to be optimistic and never pessimistic knowing that the Lord is watching over and really everything is in, in his hand it's not that the Lord is only convenient words in a book but reality the beautiful all right dear ones dear devotees from all the dear ones here and from me, we are sending you our obeisances and big jays to Srila Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Sangda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai, ja. Srila Bhakti Rock Kokshida Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai, ja. Srila AC Bhakti Varanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai, Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Ki Jai, Jai Sri Harinama Sankirtan Ki Jai, Jai. Sri Chaitanya Sarasat Acharya Vrinda Ki Jai, Jai. Sri Rupanuga Guru Bhaka Ki Jai, Nama Charja Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai. Jai. All the
turned on again. Oh, so we've now jumped to go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, something strange with the internet, but it's a sign. It's time to continue. Bancha kaupatarubhyasya, kripa sindubhya evacha, patitanam pavanebhyo, vaishnavebhyo, namo namaha. And my appreciation to all the devotees here, their contributions, and to all of you on Facebook, here on Zoom, and in the recorded version, to all of you, you are all contributing by your presence and much appreciated. Jai Gaura Premanandi Hari Dandabad Amra Ashchi with all good wishes for successful Sabah until we meet again soon. Jai Nitha.